Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is July 15th, 2020. In today's video, I'm going to update you guys with Kaminia air layering results. Stay tuned. About three months ago, I air layered some branches from different species of camellias. I just occasionally check out the soil ball to see whether they developed roots or not. As you know, it is going to take a while to develop roots. So yesterday, when I checked some soil balls from different species camellias, much more surprised, I found some roots developed. Okay, let's take a look. This is one species of a camellia. I cannot remember what kind of flowers does this plant produce. But anyway, let's check out the air layered branch. Okay, this is I air layered small branch you can see here. It's relatively thin, very small branch. So let me remove this aluminum foil. You can see inside through the plastic bag. Guys, can you see it? Here. Did you see the roots right here? And you can see right here. Right? I can feel this is the roots and uh, this is the roots okay let's uh, switch the other side to see hey okay, guys I already switched the other side can you see the roots right here some roots small roots right here and you can see a long roots from the top all the way down right here so actually i think it's very clear you can see some roots development nice even though this branch is relatively thin it's uh, small but you can see on the top there's some new leaf buds right here so it is pretty healthy very happy to grow. This is another species of camellia. I know this uh, camellia produce really, really big red flowers. It's amazing. Okay, let's check out uh, the air layered branch. Okay, this is the air layered branch. You can see here. This branch is really, really thick. You can see the branch. It's almost, uh, you can compare it with uh, my thumb and my finger. So let's remove this aluminum foil. Okay, guys, check right here. Can you see? All the way from the top goes down right here. That's the roots. Okay, let's uh, switch to the other side. Okay, check right here. You can see the roots, kind of a lot of roots. Because I wrapped this moss ball with a plastic sheet. So I don't want to remove this plastic sheet. So 
kind of a little bit hard for you to see, but definitely I can see the roots. I think you can also see the roots through this plastic sheet. So I think this side is more clear. This is roots. So it's pretty good right now. So you can check uh, the leaves and the small branches on the top. Right here, you can see some new leaf buds. They're very healthy, really, really happy. So, I didn't see any issue with this branch. Nice. This is another camellia plant which produce white flowers. So I air layered one branch at the bottom. You can see aluminum, aluminum foil. So let's check out. Okay. This branch is relative. I think it's a thick than the first one. All the leaves it's pretty good. There's some yellow leaves, but it's fine. You can see the leaf buds on the top. It's right here on the top. Okay, let's uh, remove the aluminum foil so you can see something. Guys, can you see something? Okay, let me show you. Right here. Did you see this one? This is the roots. And uh, you can see, let me move a little bit. Sorry about it. Did you see here the roots? The relative light color. Let me remove a little bit this plastic. You can see the, the light color, the roots right here, and the roots right here, and some small roots right here. So nice, definitely you can see here, you can see the roots. So. Already, we already checked the three air layer branches. You can see all these three branches. They have roots development. Actually, I also air layered some other species, uh, camellias. For example, this camellia plant, which produce red flowers. I air layered some branches from this plant. But unfortunately, I cannot find any roots development. This is another camellia plant. Actually, this is my favorite camellia plant, which produce pink flowers. I really, really like it. As you can see here, I have layered some branches. And right here, you see, I wrapped with uh, aluminum foil, some wrapped with the paper. But unfortunately, so far, I have not seen any roots development from this, all these branches. For air layering camellia branches, most of the media I use is sphagnum moss. Some I use potting soil, and uh, most of them I use both rooting hormones, including rooting hormone powder and rooting hormone gel. But some I just use, I just use rooting hormone powder. For example, for this camellia, which produces white flowers, I only use 
rooting hormone powder. But as you can see, actually, it developed roots. I don't have any problem with this camellia. Hi guys, as you can see, I already successfully air layered some branches from some species camellias. I got roots, but I cannot get some roots from some other species of camellias. So actually, you see, I used the exact same technique, used the exact same materials, but some got roots, but some cannot get roots. So, it really depends on what kind of species of camellias. Some camellias might be easy to get roots. Some camellias might be hard to get roots. So I don't know what's the reason behind this. But anyway, you can see air layering technique really, really works for some species of camellias. So I would rather wait longer to let all these roots well developed. Then I'm going to cut off and transplant it into the pot. For those camellias, I have not got roots. I would rather wait longer and longer to see whether I can get roots. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Happy gardening, happy rooting.